students watching, boys and girls in our classroom, we are ready to begin combination practice. And we're ready to begin our combination practice with some combination families. I want you to take just a moment. I want you to look over here on our board and we have some families on our board. It's the families that we began in our arithmetic lesson. Now, in a moment, we're going to say these combination families together because that's a great way for us to memorize these combinations. I want you to know the answer quickly and carefully. Here's how we'll say a combination family. I will say the name of the family, like the one addition family. Then it will be your turn. You'll say the title, the one addition family, and then we'll say all of the combinations in that family together. You ready to try? Let's do it. The one addition family. The one addition family. Zero plus one equals one. One plus zero equals one. That was a good start. Stand up, let's try it again. The one addition family. The one addition family. Zero plus one equals one. One plus zero equals one. Good. The two addition family. The two addition family. Zero plus two equals two. One plus one equals two. Two plus zero equals two. The three addition family. The three addition family. Zero plus three equals three. One plus two equals three. Two plus one equals three. Three plus zero equals three. Nice start. Girls and girls watching, sit. Boys and boys watching, stay standing. Boys and boys watching, the one addition family. The one addition family. Zero plus one equals one. One plus zero equals one. Boys and boys watching, sit. Girls and girls watching, stand. Girls and girls watching, the two addition family. The two addition family. Zero plus two equals two. One plus one equals two. Two plus zero equals two. Nice, you can have a seat, everybody. The three addition family. The three addition family. Zero plus three equals three. One plus two equals three. Two plus one equals three. Three plus zero equals three. Now you're sitting, but now I want you to stand up. And let's look at our next family, the four addition family. The four addition family. Zero plus four equals four. One plus three equals four. Two plus two equals four. Three plus one equals four. Four plus zero equals four. Have a seat, the four addition family. The four addition family. Zero plus four equals four. One plus three equals four. Two plus two equals four. Three plus one equals four. Four plus zero equals four. I really heard Benjamin and Aria, students watching, I heard you too. That's how we memorize our combinations quickly. Stand up, let's go to our last family we worked on, the five edition family. The five edition family. Zero plus five equals five. One plus four equals five. Two plus three equals five. Three plus two equals five. Four plus one equals five. Five plus zero equals five. Pause right there. Let's stay together. Let's try this last one together. Five plus zero equals five. There you go. Have a seat. And now let's put those combinations into practice as we go over some of our combination flashcards. Students watching, you be ready to answer each of these with us. Emery. Four. Good work. Ava. Four. You did it. Victoria. Five. Careful. Look at what three. you're That's correct. Why is it three, Victoria? Because you go to the next one. You're right. That was a good answer and that was good thinking. Students watching, this is yours. And check their answer tray. Two. That's correct. Tanner. Two. Wow, Tanner, this was too easy, wasn't it? How come it's so easy? 
Because zero is nothing and two is just two. That's right. It just stays the same because I added nothing. Go to this one, Kobe. Zero plus. Just the answer. Just give me the sum. One. That's correct, boys watching. And check their answer, Titus. Three. You did it, Victoria. Five. That's correct. Victoria's been working hard on these girls watching. And check their answer, Aria. Two. I like that smile, Benjamin. Three. Good, Savvy. Zero plus. Now just give the sum, just the answer. One. Why? Because one comes after zero. That's it, it does. It comes right after zero, or we could say we're adding nothing. Good answer, Savvy. Aslan. Three. Good thinking, students watching. And check their answer, Emery. Five. Nice. Trey? Five. Nice. That's one we memorized. Go to this one. Aria? Five. Super. Titus? Five. Good. With those students watching for you. And check their answer, Ava. Five. Now, let's look at our combinations in a different way. Let's look at them with our combination dot cards. So start with this first combination. Savvy, what's the combination you see? Two plus two equals four. You're right. We start on our red dots, we go to our blue dots, and then we count up all of the dots. Now, Savvy, if I turn my combination dot card here, do I have a different combination? No. No, I don't. Do you remember what this is called? Students watching, what about you? Do you remember what it's called? Why don't we have help out Savvy? What is this called? Titus? Let's look over here. And there we can see that these are combination twins. That's our answer. These are twins because I have two combinations. But this is called something else. You remember what we call it? A double. A double. A double is what it's called. And we worked on some doubles. You know what? I've got a really hard double as I get to my next one. You ready? What's five plus five? Students watching, do you know that double? And already Titus knows. What is it, Titus? Ten. Good thinking. Titus, you can have a seat. Students watching, answer this dot card along with Trey. Little louder so our students watching can check. Three plus zero equals three. Excellent job. Now it's combination twin Emery. Zero plus three equals three. I like that fast answer. Girls watching, answer this one with Aria. Zero plus four equals four. Well done, Tanner. What's its combination twin? Four plus zero equals I like that answer. Move to this one. Help me, Kobe. One plus two equals three. Nice work. Students watching, we'll keep working on these combinations.